it's me, Baby Goldie. You remember me? Did you forget about me? You dropped me off one time and never saw me again. <laughs> me and my dad. Titi, I hope you're not a little jealous of my dad. Absolutely not, Goldie. I mean, I, I want to trust him, but he did abandon you. Hey guys, today we're going on another vacation, and I really hope nobody kicks out Goldie from the airport. Don't remind me of that, Titi. That was a terrible time in my life. We should start checking in. Come on. Okay. Watch out, Goldie. <gasps> oh no, it's Piggy, my old friend. We meet again. Let's go. She's gotten a little weird since we last had a play date. So many people, Titi. It's really confusing. Yeah, there's a lot of people, but it looks like some flights are on time, delayed. I'm not sure which one is our flight. But I think we need to go through that gate over there. Okay, well, let's, let's go. Hello, lady. My name's Goldie, and I have a flight. Um, my mom already went in. Wait, Mom! Titi, wait for me! Okay, Goldie, we just have to wait here till they call us. Goldie, you remember the rules when traveling, right? Of course! Number one goal, don't get kicked out of the airport! Wakey, wakey, Dad? eggs and bakey! Dad, it's me, baby Goldie! You remember me? Did you forget about me? You dropped me off one time and never saw me again! What? Don't tell me you forgot. I would never forget you, Dad. Today's the big day. Are you going to finally tell me you're my real dad? Goldie, do you think this is your real dad? Let me remind you. We're flying to the Rohamas. Get down here. <gasps> dad! Goldie, are you okay? Yeah, we gotta find my dad. Or... Was it all a dream? And no, Goldie. I can't believe this. This is the best day ever. I mean, I hope you don't feel bad, Titi, but if he's my real dad, then, then I can get some answers. Oh my, none of you have done your luggage. I mean, your baggage. <laughs> I can't believe you forgot. We don't even have time. That's it. Whoever doesn't have the baggage ready before breakfast is not going on the trip. Then we better start going and getting our suitcases ready. Oh, this is my suitcase here. I will start making burgers in the backyard. Hurry up. Burgers for breakfast? Weird. Yeah, he's definitely my dad. Dad, I'll help you with the burgers. It's me. Oh. And you can't go outside, Goldie. I really want to go on the trip. What are we going to do? I don't even remember where my clothes are. Oh, okay, here is what we're going to do. We have 45 seconds to explore the house and see where everything is. Then we start packing. Yeah, let's go, but who are all these people? Are these all like my brothers and sisters or something? Okay, things are getting a little confusing. Oh, I have some cute outfits. Unicorn shirt, cute little sneakers. This is probably the room that he made for me because it's pink and he knows I love pink. Well, there's only one way to find out. If I have a pink toothbrush, then it's really my room. Oh, there it is, a pink toothbrush. He did. He made this room for me. Well, I'm excited for you, Goldie. Okay, guys, time to start packing. We have to find this item. I saw this yellow shirt somewhere. I did. I remember seeing it. Um, is it over here? Yeah, right here. Well, that was easy. Not really in my style, but I guess I'll pack it. You never know when you need extra clothes. I'll put it on my, inside my suitcase. Okay, I also found my items. Alright, I put it in here. Is there something else I need to pack? I don't know. Who is this guy? He has, like, cool arms. Now I gotta find these shoes. Um, they're not really in my style, but like I said, I'll pack them. Maybe that's what my dad wants. Did I see them here? No, I think I saw them in the other bedroom. Let's see, they're red and they've got white laces. And they're kind of like Skater Girl vibes. Okay, right here. Got them. Let's put them in our suitcase. Let's put them in the suitcase. Okay, I got 14, 13 seconds. I gotta do this real fast. <laughs> okay, where's my suitcase? Where's my suitcase? Goldie, I have a serious question. If you think this is your dad, and you think this is your house. Who are all these people? I don't know. I feel like home alone when all these people are there. Like all these family members. Maybe they're my cousins. Maybe they're my brothers and sisters. Okay, but I gotta get these shoes. And I have to get a shirt. Yeah, at least we're on this vacation, on this journey together. And he'll probably be super thankful that you're my adoptive mom. And you took care of me all this time after he abandoned me. Oh, Goldie. Alright, I'll put it in my suitcase. Okay, I think I have all the items. My suitcase looks pretty full. 
I have some questions though. If we're running so late, why is he outside making us burgers? Can he just give us like a cereal bar or just get something at the airport? We're gonna be even more late this way. I don't know, Titi, but he likes to eat weird things for breakfast just like me. That's how I know we're so much, so much alike. Okay. Oh. Burgers are almost ready. Titi, I hope you're not a little jealous of my dad. Absolutely not, Goldie. Let's go to the backyard. Okay. Oh. I wonder if he's like a really good cook. Well, it looks like the burgers are ready. Ooh. I'll take any of them except that funky green one. Hey, Daddy, it's me, Goldie. Are you excited to see me? Let's take a picture together. <laughs> me and my dad. Uh, Dad, I'll take any burger except that funky green one. That's like a vegan burger because it's so green. Not for me. <clears throat> Goldie. Oh, yeah, sorry. Dad, this is Titi. She adopted me like a couple years ago, and she's been taking care of me ever since. I am so excited. I got to meet my dad again, and he's making burgers, and this is just the best day ever. I don't know. Somehow, I'm not feeling that hungry. Come on, Titi. Who wants burger? I want a burger. I do. I do. Just not the green vegan burger, please. I do. I'm hungry. I do. I'm hungry. All right. Well, whoever wants one, take a seat on the picnic table. Okay, we both did. Oh, my dad, he's so generous. Giving everyone burgers. One for goldfish is my snack. Thanks, Dad. He said my name, little brother. And I didn't even get the weird one. Um, these look kind of good. I guess we'll eat them. We don't want to travel on an empty stomach. Goldie, how's that burger? It's a little bit dry, but don't tell my dad, please. Wait, listen. Hello, everyone. We are back on Bloxy Estates News. The radio is playing, but I don't want to watch the news. Oh, my dad's a nice pool. Oh, it's the radio. Yeah, Daddy, that is. You're kind of short. Is that where I get my shortness from? Earlier this month, the president congratulated the brave heroes that saved his life aboard of the presidential plane. Whoa, can you imagine saving a plane? No, not really. It's not really my style. However, the president said in conference, as we landed, the suspect somehow disappeared. What? The police warns everyone in Robloxia to be careful and report anything that could be useful for the case. Oh, that's okay because I got my dad and my mommy here. Everything's okay. How could someone possibly escape from something like that? I don't know, Daddy, but let's, eat the, let's talk about our burgers and catch up on, our, on everything we've lost. Oh my, look at the time. We're running late to our flight. There's no way we can make it in time. Well, because we spend here so much time making burgers. Unless... Follow me. I guess we should follow him, Goldie. Okay, I guess I better walk and eat. Because I was here chattering around and, and I didn't even finish. I, where are we going, Dad? I don't know, Goldie. He's acting a little weird and he looks very nervous just to go on a flight. I have a bad feeling about this. No, you gotta trust him, TD. I mean, I, I wanna trust him, but is he really trustworthy? He did abandon you. But, but let's give him a chance. We have to give him a chance. What's this? Is this a surprise for me, Dad? Did he, he's gonna give me a homecoming surprise. The garage. Wait for it. Okay. I know, he's gonna surprise me with something awesome. Like a giant ice cream machine or something. Whoa, what are these? Your very own small plane. Oh, that's amazing. And he even got one for you, too. He's so generous. Oh, which one's my... Oh, I can't sit on it. It's kind of hard. Can't see where I'm going, though. We get to fly to the airport to catch another plane? That's funny. It's also a lot more fun than walking. Oh, this is my plane. Okay. Um, Goldie, we have no idea how to fly a plane. Now we can lose more time. Find your plane and grab a seat. Oh, brother. Well, Titi, it can't be that hard to fly this plane, don't you think? I guess. I'll see you guys in the other side. He's waving goodbye, but Dad, we... Oh. Oh, wait! We don't even know how to fly these! We will have to find out. Just be careful with the obstacles. Oh, what obstacles? Goldie, please hold on tight and be careful. Okay, you too. 
obstacle. You gotta get to the end of the road without crashing. Oh, brother. I'm really not good. Okay, stay in the middle, steady. Oh, no, that girl just blew up. Down. Oh, are you okay, Tiki? Yes. Uh, surprisingly, I'm quite good at flying planes. Okay, go outside. Hey, don't bump into me. Okay, I already saw two people explode. Okay, right in the middle. Steady. Oh, brother, right on the right side. Oh, I just met my dad. I don't want to crash his new airplane. He'll probably get super mad at me. Okay. Steady. Oh, no, that girl blew up too. It's okay, Goldie. We're almost there. Okay, I almost made it. Did you make it, Titi? I can't see behind me. Yes, I'm right behind you, Goldie. Don't worry. We're landing on the airport. I see you. It looks like just a couple of us made it. Oh no, I saw them all crash and burn. It was really traumatic. Daddy, Daddy, I did it. I'm a pilot just like you. Perfect. Everyone is here. I forgot to tell you. Flying over that shortcut is illegal? Seriously? Dad, you didn't tell us that. Hopefully nobody saw you. We can get in a lot of trouble for doing that. The airport is just around the corner. Let's keep moving. This, none of this makes sense. I know, but we gotta trust him, Titi. I don't know, Goldie. It's right there. Okay, is he not coming with us? I don't know. Let's just follow him. Let's walk behind him. Goldie, be careful. We have to watch before crossing. There could be some dangerous cars coming, like that big old truck. Let's cross the street really quickly. Come on. Oh my gosh. That was a huge truck. That was close. Yeah, he sort of warned us. Now hurry inside. Okay, Dad, I'll wait for you. Just me and my dad. Okay, we're back at some terminal. Attention, everyone. Flight 7616 to Rohamas is leaving in five minutes. Okay, we have plenty of time. We have to drop off our luggage. That's our flight. What do we do? What do we do? I already have my ticket. Get yours before the plane takes off without us. Goldie, we have to drop off our suitcase too. Drop it off first. Get your ticket and go through the boarding gate. Okay. You have to drop off your luggage right on that blue line. Oops, sorry, she's the ticket lady. Okay, let me drop off my suitcase. I hear the baggage drop off, and then we'll get a ticket. Come on, I'll wait for you. I'll go on this line. Thank you, lady. Oh, we got it. Hey, right, let's go. We only have a couple seconds to get to, the, to our flight, to our gate. Here you go, lady. You're good to go, good. No more waiting, let's go. Yay, Daddy, we're ready to go. I hope there's going to be a great vacation in Rohamas waiting for us. That is our plane. Where? I don't, I don't know. I guess it, we have to go up to this little gate. Hello, you must be the last passengers flying to Rohamas. Yep, just me, my dad, my mom, and this random guy. Don't worry, you're just in time. All you need to know, all you need to do now is go through the metal detector and you're good to go. Well, good. I don't bring anything. Yeah, we're prepared for a fight. We don't have... Oh. Hey, my metal detector went off. No way. <laughs> also for my dad and also for me. I don't have anything. What? I don't have anything on me. Same, dad. Same. Other than this weapons. Oh. <laughs> he, he, he also has big guns from the gun show. <laughs> like his muscles, I mean. Okay. Are we good to go? Something is not right. Please wait a minute. Okay, maybe he's bringing something illegal. Oh no, I don't like how that sounds. Maybe he put something in our bag. I told you he couldn't be trusted, Goldie. Oh look, airport security. Does that bring back any memories? Yes. You're going to have to come with us. But, but we didn't do anything. Oh no, this is just crazy. Dad, what is happening? Uh, is there a problem, officers? All of you were cut flying over a restricted area. You're in big trouble. He lied to us. He didn't even tell us about it, Goldie. Wait here until we get all the paperwork ready. Okay. I am not going to jail for this. Uh, uh, Dad, what should we do? Sigh. I knew it was a bad idea. But why did you let us do it? 
Daddy boy, what should let us do it? I don't want to get in trouble. I'm too young to jail. For jail. Now we are totally losing the flight. There it goes. It's starting to take off. Oh, that's our plane. Oh, no. Who cares about a flight? We're in deep trouble. What if we get arrested? What is that red thing in the airstrip? I don't know. I didn't see anything. Me neither. All I saw is the, the last one. My plan is finally complete. Who is this Skeletor? Is he some sort of DJ or something? Who is that guy? I am so confused. Are you enjoying the show? <laughs> what show? No. Humans? Okay, he's calling us humans. Oh, there he is. Your world will soon be property of the undeads. The undeads means like dead people? Oh no. First, I used angry humans to help me build an army. But now, I can take over the world by myself. Don't worry. You will be part of my army too. What is going on? Do you think your dad has an idea of what's going on? Did he set us up? See you in the afterlife. Mwahaha ha ha ha. I don't think so, Titi. My dad wouldn't do that. I don't know, Goldie. This is just getting weirder and weirder. This guy is really creepy. What is he? What if he comes inside? What is going on? It's weird that. Wait, look. The security guards are back. Let's ask them for help. I don't want to be here anymore. Um, I don't think the security guards are friendly. Find a weapon and kill the infected security guards? Okay, I guess grab a bat. <sighs> Goldie! They're all going after that one guy! Oh. It's okay, Goldie, I'll protect you! Huh! Well, actually, give me a hand! Sorry, I'm a little nervous! Your dad's not even helping you out! Oh, <gasps> Titi! Oh no! The security one's got Titi! <laughs> oh no! Dad! <laughs> she tried to help me and I didn't help her on time! <laughs> Dad, you didn't even help. That was horrible. We gotta find a way to exit this place. Look, there is vents. Try to see if we can get up there and find something. Okay, who am I really talking to? Because there's no one here. Oh, brother. Oh, I'm scared. I wish TD was here. Look, guys, we found an open vent. Okay, I guess I found an open vent. It looks like this is the place where they put the suitcases and the luggage or something. We need to get out of here. Oh, should I just follow the arrows? This is real confusing. Wait, where is Dad? Why is he crying? What's wrong with his eyes? You need to keep going without me. But Dad... Oh no, the skeleton curse is affecting Dad. I already lost Titi, now I gotta lose my dad. We have to do something, but first, let's get out of this place. Great, me and this guy I don't even know are the only ones left. Escape the office through the roof vent. You know it, I will do everything to help my dad and to fight for Titi's, Titi's, oh, Titi's death. Okay, let's go up here, let's go over here. Is this what it is? I'm a little confused. Alright, who is General Poncho? It looks like I'm late to the party. What are you talking about? What? Who even are you? Yeah! Who even are you? I'm Poncho, ex-general on the Robloxia State's army. Okay, and what? I heard from you in the news where you're not supposed to be dead? Oh snap, is he one of the undead people? I have been trying to stop this strange creature for years, since the world depended on it. I had to fake my death. Well, that's dramatic. We are the only ones left. We have to find and destroy skeleton talks before the bad energy consumes us. Oh, I don't want that to happen. We need to do this for our dad. For my dad. Yes, we do. It's time to be a hero then. Follow me. Oh, brother. I guess we'll follow General Poncho. His name sounds pretty official. Okay. Should I keep my... My baseball bat, just in case I gotta whack him, in case he's not really a good guy. Yeah, I probably should. That way. Okay, well, why aren't you coming? Oh, brother, who is this guy? He doesn't look suspicious and creepy at all with his hoodie. Who is this dude? Hey, who are you? Are you trying to attack us? I don't trust him. Poncho, what's going on? Hiya! 
Be careful. This guy might be an infected. Wait, why does he seem familiar? He looks creepy, that's what he looks like. Hello, General, remember me? Ronald McDonald! <laughs> Just kidding, this is not time for games. No way! You're supposed to be dead! Why is everyone supposed to be dead but they're not dead? I'm so confused! I guess we're both supposed to be dead, but here we are! Who's Ronald? Who's General Poncho? My dark side attacked the presidential plane and we got shot in the face! Oh, that sounds bad! Hey, I don't like you! You're scary! That made my cards become weaker! I don't trust you either, General Poncho! Are you? The only way I can completely be free is by killing Skeletox! I still don't trust you. You could be lying to us. Mm-hmm. What he said. You are not trusty. You're not going to be part of this mission. Oh, oh he told you, Ronald. He kicked you out. Well, I'm still going to do it, General. Who's coming with me? I don't look at me. I'm the only one left. There is no way my team is going with you. What team, General Ponzo? It's just Goldie. I, I don't know what to do. Am I, do I want to follow General Poncho or Ronald? I don't trust Bo in neither of them, but if I need to choose, I'm going to choose General Poncho. Because I like his name. Poncho. Reminds me of like tacos. Okay, I'm coming with you, General Poncho. We choose to go with General Poncho. Well, it's just me. Stay out of our way, Ronald. We are saving the world. <laughs> Booyah. Heard that, Ronald? Yeah, that's what's up. Okay. Where are we? This is the place where all the evil energy comes from. Oh, it looks pretty spooky here. What is that noise? Some zombie people? Oh no, they found us. Quickly, go inside the cave. We need to lose them. I'm not even scared. I'm strong. And got my muscles. And I'm going to kick butt. Ah, they're coming after me! Okay, where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? This is a maze. Oh, brother. 44 seconds. 40. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, they're here. No, 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 no. Where do I even go? I have no clue. And where's General Poncho? He's not even helping me. Okay, okay, okay. Go to this side. Maybe if I follow the cute little airport, airplane little light, that would get me to the side that I need to go. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Hope for the best. Are these dinosaur eggs? Like, what in the world is going on? Or are these, like, bones from humans? Spooky. Okay, the time is almost up. I hope I'm close to the end. Oh... That's not even fair! I'm going to have to revive because I want to save my dad! Okay, where are we? Someone must have summoned Skeletox! Where's all this little light? It looks like Dia de los Muertos up in here! I don't like them! This glowing plane looks like an offering! Whoa! Whoa! What in the world happened here? Oh my god! What the? What the? What is, what is this place? General Poncho, why are you rubbing your eyes? Look up there. Who are all these people? Oh, Ronald! You were right, General. What's, what's going on? Who are all these people that are trapped in these cages? Oh my, Pilot Kylie. I thought she was dead. Pilot Kylie? Who oh, never heard of her before? And Jack? Hey, isn't he from Crew Story? And that guy. <laughs> like, nobody even remembers him. But he's so sad. Quickly, we have to get them out. I don't know, but I'm going to grab this sword. Get out of here, General. It's a trap. It's too late. Oh, no, the skeleton guy's coming. Oh, brother. I'm going to hide and find the General. Why is he crying? Or covering? <gasps> I have harvested enough scared souls to have my full power. Mm, I don't know. What do you think I go? Why do you think I go after planes? It's the easiest way to get souls together. Scared for their lives. Huh. Yeah. I used to have Ronald because I did not have enough power to do it by myself. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to save you with my big sword. But now I do. Get ready to be harvested, too. Well, I'm not scared of you. Hiya! Well, I am a little bit scared, but I need to fight for my life. Hmm. 
I should get him from the back. Then, then, oh no, he's trying to crush me with his big hands. Oh, brother, what do I even do? I have to find a way to get rid of Skeletox. I only have this little weapon. He's huge. Oh, brother, he got me frozen in there. <laughs> oh no, my health is going down. He's attacking me. How do I even jump out? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, I better run, I better run. He's really, really trying to get me. While he's laying down, I'm gonna start getting him with my sword. Oh, I see his powers going down too. Ow! Oh no! Ouch! He is really, really powerful. Huh. Huh. I won't give up. I'm doing this for Dad and for Titi. Because his, e his evil people got rid of her right in the when I needed her. Ow! I got... Uh, uh, this is all I got. I'm giving it all I got. This is for my dad, this is for Titi, and all my... All those strange people I first met in the house. This is for all of them. I think this is it. Whoa, what is he doing? Is it some sort of weird TikTok dance? Oh no! I defeated him! Goldie defeated Skeletox! I did it! Hmm, no mess with Goldie! You did it, soldier! Skeletox is gone for good! Let's get everyone out of here! Okay, it's just me and you, Mr. Poncho. The nation of Roblox is grateful once again. The president, Ronald Trump, I want to congratulate this brave hero for bringing the evil to an end. That was me, I did it! I would also like to thank everyone. You saved my life. Go Goldie, go Goldie, I did it. It's my birthday, I did it, I saved the world. I've been trying to finish with skeletons for a while, and finally he is gone. I know Dad would be proud. He would be proud of me? Wait, what do you mean? Is my dad dead? What about our, my dad? He's my dad, not your dad. What about my dad? Wait. Who is that over there? Oh, what's up, family? Did you miss me? Daddy! Wait, no way! Hello, Doug. I did miss you. What? What? What the? What? Who are you kissing, Dad? Wait, Kelly is our mom? Kelly is my real mom? I, that is right, and the family is finally complete again. I am, you're not my family anymore. Titi is my new family. Uh, this is not amazing. I don't even know this lady. And where did I get gold blonde hair from? Oh, brother. I don't know if I like this ending. I want to go home with Titi, Bloxy, and Grandma. We can be sure whenever he goes, he will be saving the world. Alright, guys. This was weird. But it was a fun story. Hope you liked it. Like and subscribe. Peace out. Do you think my dad was cool? I don't know. I'd rather leave with Titi though.